In this video, we're going to walk through the process of installing a transformer. The first step is go to the transformers portion of OpenPoint Web. To do that, go to the menu in the upper left hand corner and then select Assets and then click on the Transformers card. This will display the Transformer dashboard. The next step is to select the transformer you want to install. You can click on any of the cards below that will show either new or available transformers and you'll get a list and you can choose from there or you can enter a search. So in this case I know the transformer number that I want to install. So I'm going to type that in and it's going to give me a result in the list here and I can just click on that and this will take me to the transformer record itself. To install the transformer, I'm going to now click on the install button and that will display a screen that allows me to enter information about the transformer being installed. The first thing I'm going to do is enter a date. I can put in a month, day, year right into the field right here like this or I can use the date control and click on that and then just pick from the calendar. In this case I'm going to pick the 14th here and then I'll go on to the next field which is status description. This is optional. If you want to indicate something about the installation of the transformer at that particular location, you can enter that there. The next field is the station number. So that's going to be a poll number or a cabinet number, something that identifies where that transformer is being installed. And you may notice that there's an asterisk there. That is a required field. So you have to tell it something about where the transformer is installed. Uh, it could even be an address, and it does have to be unique. So I'm going to type in a poll number in this case, uh, let's call it P1201, uh, and then it's going to default the bank position. If it's a single phase transformer, that will always be one, of course. You can change that from the drop down here. Um, if you don't want to enter bank information, you don't have to do that. It's optional. And then you can optionally enter in a phase and a circuit. So I'll do that uh, there. And then if you want to, you can also enter in the other fields below, but those are all optional. To do the actual installation, you'll then create the create button. And then it'll show the result here under action. So you can see we did it install the date and the station number. In the upper left hand corner, you can also see that the status is now installed. And instead of there being an install button, there's now a remove button for when it's time to remove the transformer from that location. And that's all there is to installing a transformer.